Hey guys, what's up? It's MJo23Dan, back with another video. So, I've been gone for a while, I guess doing sneaker videos, but I'm back. Um, I actually went on vacation in San Diego for about three weeks, brought my two kids, and did a little vlog, so I had a little, you know, different perspective session with that and all that good stuff. I did do a sneaker con though, but I'm sure you guys are here for the sneakers, but anyways, Right here, I have the Nike ID Mamba Day uh, Kobe ID. As you can see, the box has no branding whatsoever besides the Nike ID stamping. Uh, there's no like, you know, that this is a Mamba ID. So it's just the typical blank black box, Nike ID box. When you open it up, it says made by you. All right, so here is the card. This is the Mamba Day card, Mamba ID. And it just has all of the all of the stats on the card and a cool graphic on the other side. So when you flip it open, the paper says Nike ID made by you. And I just went ahead and went with the default black pair. So the shoes released on Kobe's last day in the NBA, which was April 13, 2016. And the shoes retail for $225. Now with the Kobe 11, I wanted the full length insole. So I went full length Nike Zoom. And supposedly they're supposed to charge you 20 bucks for it, but I wasn't charged 20 bucks for it. I just got charged the, the shipping and the tax. So I feel like I just got that included, but um, I'll get into the details with that. But yeah, this is the uh, Mamba Day ID. Really nice colorway. I opened the box and I'm like, wow, this is really good. Um, my only gripe about it though is that the the laces here, it, they are black, but they have like this threading that's like loose and that's not a good look. So you guys see what I mean right there? That threading right there on the gold is just loose and that's all throughout like different perspectives of the shoe. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a clean shoe. It's a nice clear bottom So Nike zoom on the bottom you got the gold swoosh you got all of the Achievements of Kobe the number 24 the 81 point game 18 all-star appearances that can also get mixed up with the 81 oh, You got the Kobe logo right on the tongue and then you got the clear fuse up by the eyelets and also along the sides as well as going towards the back with this heel counter and on my ID specifically on my left shoe I put Mamba Day and on the right shoe I put 413 2016 there was one other guy I saw on Twitter I'm not sure uh, who it was I apologize but he had the date of Kobe's first game which is actually November 3 1996 and then Kobe's last game April 13 2016 so on the back here you have the gold suture marks as well as the Kobe logo and it's kind of got like this gold foil look to it. It's pretty neat. It's not like a solid gold. Engineered mesh all the way around. Looks really neat. Coming up into the uh, the insole, let me go ahead and show you what the uh, aglets look, look like here. There's your gold lace tips or aglets. And then the insole says Nike ID. Take out the paper so you can see it better. And it's a white drop-in insole or midsole whatever you want to call it these are usually hard to like remove too it's got the black felt on the insole here and then on the underside you have Nike zoom technology full length really cool Kobe 11 right by the pinky toe area and that's about it so again guys thank you guys for watching subscribe if you like the videos I usually try and get you some up close nice shot details of the shoes that I pick up or anything in my collection uh, just to give you guys a better perspective uh, these are the Mamba Day ID Kobe 11's the engineered mesh version uh, usually or it only just came in one version but you can you know manipulate any of the other styles uh, when they were available this shoe is no longer available again this was a 225 retail uh, I got it for about 245 shipped with tax. So anyways, it's MJO23 Dan guys. Take care. Happy
Let's 